Hello again, YouTube. This is True Man giving you the truth. We still in the dealing with people series. We want to on this one. We want to talk about people who don't believe that you will be successful. And this can be your relatives. This can be your spouse. This can be your kids. This can be your coworkers. We going this how we we getting ready to get in. This is important. People who don't believe in you. And people who don't believe that you will be successful. How should you deal with these people? How's what approach do you take? Uh, what should your actions be with these? Let's get into it. This one is easy work. Easy. So when people, when you have a vision or a goal in mind, number one. The first time you share it with them and they either, I don't think that'll work, do this or this, 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 somehow debating your purpose. The first thing, don't share it with them no more. Don't talk about it until it's done. See, number one, kind of on subject, kind of off subject, you can't be scared to fail. You can't, people have wasted their lives working a job just to keep the basic necessities in life instead of going for that dream, going for that purpose, following those passions, those things you love to do. And a lot of guys don't realize that women, they don't mean to kill your dreams, they just kill your dreams. Because they want the easy, safe road. They'll settle for less. Now check this out. This is why you can't listen to them. They'll settle for less and they'll admire the people who have more. They'll settle for less from you. God, just go, just don't quit that job. You quit that job, this gonna happen. That gonna happen. But then you'll hear these same people bragging on the rich. They say he worked 400 million. They say he worked 300 million. But they want to box you into not even a hundred thousand. You got to figure out when the timing is right, because the timing. Let's be honest: if your timing is bad, it's gonna slow things down. But you have to chase your dream. You have to go after that thing that you're skilled at, and those things that bring the money in. Don't stop dreaming because you get married. Because what will happen, and I know this firsthand, everything that goes wrong is going to set you back for months. When y'all young and y'all get married, don't have kids right away. Work as a team. Get that money put up. Don't let her stay at home. Don't get her pregnant. Shoot on your sheets. I will tell you, and we're going to talk a little bit about this probably today or tomorrow. We're going to get into some don't do money tips. So, but don't let your dreams die. Don't let fear kill your dreams. Don't let no woman kill your dreams. They're not that important. See, this is why people, men be getting cheated on, be getting disrespected, be in a horrible relationship. Because you be esteeming these women too high, and there's something in them that don't respect guys that do that. I know in my marriage, I treated my wife better than any and all the women that were before her. I never, I never cheated on her. I cheated on all of them. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Because once disrespect comes in, and here's what happens. Sometimes people get married for the wrong reasons. And the people who get married for the wrong reasons, everything that go bad is going to destroy that relationship because that relationship ain't built on the right foundation anyway. Some people get with somebody else because they're there.
That's what happens all the time. But when people don't believe in you or don't believe that you'll be successful, don't share your dreams with them. Move in silence. And when you start getting blessed, show them. Don't not do what you're going to do because you loving people and trusting people's words who don't believe in you. Don't let them stop you. These are the people who had a billionaire vision that they don't follow. And then you see somebody else doing what you had in your mind to do. That's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm looking at all these businesses that were, I had the idea 10 years ago. So don't think I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm looking at guys sell a business that I probably had in my mind before them for 400 million. So how do you deal with these people? Remember, we're connecting the dots on these. The first one was people who think they better than you. People who think they better than you, they always gonna try to get you to go in the direction they think you should go. But if they think they better than you, they ain't gonna believe in your talent. That's why this one is connected. People who don't believe in you or believe you'll be successful, more than none, they don't. They think they're better than you. They think they're smarter than you, which one we're going to talk about next. So how do you handle these? These people who think that they're better than you we talked about and these people who don't believe in you or that you'll be successful just like I said in the better than you video use them as motivation all your moves should be based on what you want to happen if you don't want to go to prison why would you hang with people that's doing things where you might? Or why would you do things where you might? This is what I always told the kids in detention. But yet, I dealt with people who thought they was better than me, number one. And number two, who didn't believe that I would be successful. That was the problem. That's why when I left that job, I didn't leave because of the kids. I left because I don't believe in spending your whole life, days and, and minutes and hours around people who think they're better than you or people who don't believe in you and don't believe in or that you would be successful. Those people would destroy your life. That paycheck is not worth it. It's not worth it. So, when I left that job, I didn't leave because I didn't want to deal with the kids no more. But you gotta realize if you ever become a correctional officer or police, mainly correction, it's not usually the, 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 the subjects that are the problem because if you, eventually they'll get used to you and eventually most of them will learn to respect you. It's the workers. And it's never going to be all of them. It's just going to be some of them. But the sum, it's almost like you got a bu bucket of apples. If you leave, if you got rotten apples spread throughout the bucket, 
that's eventually going to spread to the good apples if you don't take them out of there. That's why I don't believe in staying on no job, especially if you have a vision in mind. Use the job for as long as you need to. But you shouldn't, your peace shouldn't be disturbed to do it. Sometimes you just got to take a few steps back to take steps forward. But if you listen, if you a man, your woman is not going to, uh, nine times out of ten, the woman you with is not going to advise you to do it the way I just said. That's why everybody on here talking about how women kill dreams. Perfect example, Coach Greg Adams. He don't go all off into extreme details about what happened. But I've listened to him enough and watched his videos enough to understand what happened. What happened basically was he wanted to do certain things. He wanted to work for himself. It appears that his wife wanted him to take a different direction as far as a job. And when women start pulling this way, you going this way. Let them go. Like, think about it. Let's say you walk in this parking lot and you need to go this way and your, your girl or your wife is trying to pull you this way. What are you going to do? You see what I just did? And you need to go the direction you're going. Don't let them pull you in a different direction because I'm telling you, if you waste time with these type of women, when y'all get old and y'all ain't got money like that, you're going to be like, oh, I should have done this and I should have done this. She, gonna, she ain't going to have nothing to say. She just going to be sitting there. Don't let them do that. You're going to be on your cane. I had that idea first. And I'm not making fun of old people. I'm just saying. And she just going to be sitting there rocking. But when she was younger, I don't think you should. Don't cut that job. Now, I heard Coach Greg Adams say, and I said I don't like mentioning these guys because a lot of them, they don't really mention smaller YouTubers. But this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. He told, he said that he told his wife that I'm going to make more money without you. That's the attitude you got to have. See, y'all let women take upon themselves a whole different role and y'all uh, role and y'all don't let, y'all don't, y'all don't punish them. And I ain't talking about hitting them all this, all that. I'm talking about dumping their butt. You doing what she wants you to do. That's not what she's supposed to be doing. A woman is getting hit from the back, and this ain't for kids, on a regular basis, is doing her job more than a woman who always trying to tell you what to do. If she ain't doing nothing else but getting clapped, smush, 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 smush. She doing her job more than the big mouth who only wants to talk and not work as a team and not turn around. She got her beat. If you had a woman, that's all she did. She didn't even talk that much. She just turned around and was like, smush, 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 smush. That's a unicorn. If that's all she did, she don't argue, she don't fight, she follow you and she turn around. That's a unicorn. Of course, you want her to do more than that. But when you got a wild horse, she up on her, she trying to kick you. That's a Bronco. That ain't no unicorn. Y'all ever seen the Broncos? 
And I ain't talking about the team. They ain't kicking nothing right now. They getting kicked. But a Bronco is wild. They have to be tamed by the cowboy. They'll kick you. They'll kick your eye out of socket. A unicorn is this. Just go along with the flow. You know how them horses be when they cooperate and they just be like that. Not saying nothing. Some of these women got them big old booty. And they not even using them for the right things. They not walking around like a horse. They walk around like a hyena. No, hyenas just cause trouble. <laughs> that no, you ever heard the noise they make? <laughs> Causing trouble. Trying to eat other people's stuff. These cities are full of hyenas. Wild dogs. And why? Some of it started with not believing in somebody and not believing they're going to be successful. So they leave their families. And now you got the kids wild in the streets. Some of these divorces and breakups, that's why they happen. He like, man, I'm doing what I got to do. And they just want to Hyenas always on the go. <laughs> that lion be like, get out of here. Chase him off. But the hyenas only attack the weak. When The only time they attack the strong is when it's a whole bunch of them. So you don't, don't share your vision with them no more. Use them as motivation. Work towards your goals. Don't include nobody but yourself. The only people you can include, if you include anybody, is people that's helping you. Stop talking to people that's not helping you. Man, I think you should do this. Man, I think you should shut up. You ain't paying none of my bills. If my bills get paid or don't get paid, why should I listen to the words of somebody that's not helping me either way? Don't listen to them as next. You ever thought about going back to college? Just look at them. Look the other way. Man, y'all know what? I think they I think the Packers need to uh Give Jordan Love a chance. See how it did that? Let's go back in case you missed it. You know what? I was thinking, why don't you just go back to school? You could work full time and go to school full time. Y'all missing it. What if this guy is married? He's doing everything he can. If you're married and you with somebody like what I'm talking about on, on the last one better than you, don't believe in you. Hey, man, if that's how you feel about yourself, do your thing. Do you. See how I did that, though? Man, I think it's time for the Packers to get Jordan Love a chance. Change the subject. change the subject instead of arguing with them and possibly getting into some type of physical fight because remember they already think they better than you they don't believe in you so why are you talking to them so much I'm done talking to people like this if they call me I ain't gonna be rude but I know how to handle the conversation then they won't know none of my plans 
Because in the past, I've shared my plans with people. And when they think they better than you or they think you ain't going to be successful, they try to get you to go do something that ain't got nothing to do with your vision. Don't listen to them. Change the subject. Use them as motivation. Work towards your goals. Get you some pens and some paper and start writing this stuff down if you haven't already. Do what's best for your kids. Sometimes your kids might even not know what's best for them. Maybe they've been listening to this, listening to that, think this, think that. But do what's best for them and the same thing with them. If they don't believe what you're doing, why should you leave? If they can help you and they don't, why should you do all of that for them? Even though those are your kids. Of course you want to be a father and leave them something. But if you become an extremely rich guy, and let's say your kids are in cahoots with some stepdad dude, all cool with him, why would you... That don't make sense. Why would you just give all of what you had to them for him to get it? Especially in cases where the mother is treating him better than she treated you. She respected him more than she respected you. See, I don't buy that respect that only is based on the good and when I'm doing well. That's not respect. That's using somebody. Because if you can't act good when I'm doing bad, then I'm not, I'm erasing everything that you did and said when I wasn't doing that bad. Stop believing in people who don't believe in you is next. That might be a parent. That might be a grandparent. When they don't believe in you, why should you believe in them? So go about your go about your plans. And like I said on the last one, if you need to go back, go back. But make sure whoever, regardless of what you're doing, that your life is more than you just going to jail, trying to be a thug, uh, trying to be cool. Man, get something out of life. These women that get you in trouble. I know guys, and one of my little guys from detention, he probably won't watch this video. My little guy, Carlos, he knows firsthand. You got to be careful when you're dealing with these women, man. Because yes can become no down the line. I'm going to get you for what you did to me. But you went along with what I did to you. That's how it be. That's how it be. Like, I know plenty guys. I know another dude that some stuff happened. And they was just too young to be doing that. So the girl was scared of her parents. And so she uh, she basically made everything that happened that she wanted and went along with like it was something totally different and because she was the age she was he was the age he was and he ended up going to prison so all around the world you guys gotta be careful with these women man all around the Every situation you gotta be you gotta be careful. Use them for recreation, not motivation. Even your mama, don't motivate yourself, man. Don't use women as motivation. Motivate yourself. Because when people don't believe in you, what you gonna do then? You gonna be a loser, you're gonna be a failure. No, you got to keep striving for what it is you're trying to accomplish.
motivate yourself. And look at all the NBA players and the singers and celebrities who threw their careers away over women because they didn't know how to be and think with women. Look at Ray Carruth. What he did was wrong. But he should have let that chick just break up with him. See, a lot of guys are in prison right now because they can't handle rejection. That's the next thing. Handle that rejection and move on. Move on. Watch what you do. Watch what you say. Handle the rejection and move on. If you've been to jail, people are going to try to, like I talked about on the last one, act like they better than you. But don't let going to jail, if you're going to get out, don't let going to jail destroy your life. Get out. I, I got cousins. They got out they never went back. I got friends. Got out never went back. I got guys I used to hang with just in the trades now making plenty money. Doing this, doing that, towing cars, doing plumbing, all kind of stuff. They didn't let the mistakes that they made, which we're gonna get into that as well. We talking about, I'm telling you, this today mainly gonna be the dealing with people stuff. So that's why we're gonna close this one out. We're gonna come back with a couple more situation scenarios. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Again, make sure you're making the most out of your life. Don't, don't be admiring people that if you do what they do, you're going to end up in jail. Find a way to stay free out here. And do something constructive. You got a skill? Utilize that skill. You ain't got no skills? Get some. Learn how to do some stuff. That's what you should be doing instead of occupying your time. You want her to say you got the best sex, this, that. Forget that, man. Because just because she say that today, that don't mean that's how she going to feel tomorrow. So why should you need her to say it? She'll be telling you you the best one day and treating you like you're weak and telling you you're weak the next. Don't revolve nothing around these women, man. And that's not hating them. That's just a fact. They always try to say somebody hate. We ain't hating in the manosphere. We're just putting the information, the facts out. So I'll see y'all in a little while with more videos. Stay tuned.